welcome back to my channel my name is nurse Kathiana and on this channel we talk about all things nursing so if you would like go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and and join the fam so to my returning subscribers welcome 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 back welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a very 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 highly requested video oh what's in my nursing bag video hold, hold up hold up hold up let me fix the bag for you guys real quick what's in my nursing bag video I have got so many requests to do this video so here I am doing it shout out to you guys um two people asked for this video this video mellow and I'm sorry for the other person I can't remember your name but shout out to you because you requested it so yes this is my bag this is my nursing bag that I go to work with so this is an aldo bag i got it as a gift two years ago and yeah if i can find the link below i will link it down below all right so let's get into my nursing bag so the first thing i have in this bag is my name tag so clearly yeah a little background about me i am a cardiac nurse new grad rn i've been on the floor for maybe about a month by myself so yeah <laughs> I can't forget this I forgot it one day and I literally had a day that was crazy I had to ask everyone to get into the med room I had to ask people to get to the supplies I couldn't even get into the building without a um ID badge so don't forget your badge don't just don't do it don't do it so the second thing I have in here is my planner when I first started working on the floor our schedules are literally the month long so it's a lot of dates to remember and try to you know plan your life around so i just purchased my planner if you haven't seen this video for the happy planner review go ahead and watch it um this is a very good planner and i suggest i recommend it for um especially for people especially nurses because we have to plan our life out ahead of a month so yeah this is the second thing that's inside of my my work bag so the third thing is my actual work bag so in this bag i have a couple of things my stethoscope would be in there with my hand sanitizer i have my little notebook i purchased this from cvs or walgreens um, before i started working ignore the scribbling that permanent marker got on it i just have my name and then i literally just have notes for like things I need to remember as a new grad or as a nurse. Can you guys even see anything? Okay. Yeah, I just literally have notes in here uh, to help my day go smoother. Um, I don't use it too much now, only if I need to like do calculate a heparin dose or anything like that. Um, I have lotion. Can't be too ashy. Especially, I have a hand size one because I wash my hands all the time. I don't really like hand sanitizer like that. I'm not reaching for that first. I'm washing my hands first. So I just, you know, put some lotion in my bag. Make sure it's in my pocket by the time I start work because I'm going to be using it excessively. Next thing I have, <laughs> I don't know how this got in here. <laughs> but it's in there. It's an uh, insulin needle. I'll use it next time I'm at work. It is what it is. I have a perm uh, sharpie because my job does use the boards and you know to try to get to know the patient better, let the patient know what the plan is for them and all those things. So we do use sharpies. I have a black one and I have a blue one, so you can't go wrong with that. And you can't trust your job to always have them because what if they run out and then your day is just going crazy because you don't have a sharpie. They can't find the number to contact you to call you to let you know that they want their pain pill you know so yeah and I also have permanent markers permanent markers I do dressings with I label my um like you know right on the little sticker for the IVs I write with my sharpie I I don't know I do typical sharpie thing funny story about the sharpie so when i first started and had my first specimen to pick up i had like three specimens two on one patient and one on another patient right so one was sputum and then the other ones were wound cultures right and so 
I went and you know in the rehab it's different so you have your specimen cup I had the cup and I wrote on the cup my the my initials and the time that I collected it right and so I went and I took it to the um to the lab to you know let them test it whatever I got called back my charge nurse is like cat go check it out see what's going on I'm like what do you mean see what's going on I did it the right way right and I asked her and she's like yeah you know as long as you labeled it and I'm like all right cool I labeled it so I went back I asked the um flip not the phlebotomist she was just a lab tech why it's wrong and she's like well you have to put your name and your time on each one and the patient's name so I went back I put my patient's name on each one and I went back to my job then I get another call another call saying cat go to the lab they're like if this was the daytime we would have threw out your specimen because usually they're not gonna call you back here they're just gonna throw it out and I'm like I'm thank you so much I'm new I don't know nothing just you know thank you so much for your patience and she's I'm like what am I doing wrong because I clearly you know whatever and so this time she tells me you're supposed to put the sticker the patient identification sticker on the specimen cup and then write your um, initials and date and time I didn't know that you do things differently in the rehab my charge nurse said put my name and the date and the time I'm getting it but she didn't specify how to do that you know so anyways learning experiences of a new grad <laughs> if you're liking this video so far thumbs up anyways let's get back to the video sharpie <laughs> so yeah very 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 important work scissors so I use this for many things I use this for dressings I use this for when I put my ID band on my patient and you know how it has like the little string that hangs off. I hate those. I cut those off. Or if I have a discharge to cut your ID band off, I use that for that. What else do I use these scissors for? That's pretty much it. I don't really use them too, too, too much, but I do use them often, like every shift. And I got these from Uniform Advantage. They're only like $6. I like these scissors a lot okay I actually have two scissors this one's from like a suture kit um that a nurse gave me when I was at the rehab so this is typically used for um taking out st um, staples in a person's body when they're using them for like a wound and she let me have them so I was like cool these have never been used on a patient <laughs> she opened a new box and she gave me it because she needed some of the gauze that was in there so yeah. I have a lot of pens markers I have a lot of pens and markers I have a makeup brush because you know as women when you wear makeup to work you want to make sure you can not get too greasy and you know blot it off I have my caliber so this caliber I purchased it from where did I get this from I actually purchased this off of Amazon and I really really like it um, this is what we use for EKGs as you know I'm a cardiac nurse so I definitely use this every shift um, but now I'm getting to the point where I don't really have to use it to find out what kind of rhythm my patient is in so that's pretty cool so yeah if you haven't seen these um, they also call them back in school a protractor um, but the protractor I guess is for circles this is for heart rhythms but you can use a protractor too if you're trying to save money um, during the new grad program a lot of the new grads purchase a, pro a protractor instead of this they did get in trouble for it but it honestly does the same thing and I feel like the protractor is more stable to use so I don't know why it would be a problem to use the protractor I don't know but I digress I have some headphones these are the wireless headphones I purchased them at big lots by my job it 
they come in handy when I'm on my break and I just want to listen to some music and forget a little bit um get away <laughs> while in the break room doing nothing you know so I have my clipboard this clipboard was purchased from Walmart it was only about four to five dollars I really enjoy it but you know what I noticed I'm too clumsy for this clipboard. This clipboard in me is not friends, okay? So, I don't recommend this because every time I drop it from my wow, it breaks. So, I don't recommend it. And I just have a copy of my report sheet that I use for work. And I'm going to be having a video soon on how to take reports and how I organize my sheets. Because I see that a lot of people don't really tell you how to do this. So, that's something I want to teach you guys and that's it for my bag guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like go ahead and click thumbs up comment down below what's in your work bag and go ahead and subscribe if you like till next time bye